When the snow piles up outside, it's time to say goodbye to the neighbors and split from Mare Town to places farther south where it's nice and warm. We soulmate snowbirds know in life it's not where you go, but who you travel with. We are coming down off the Santa Rosa Mountains and we stopped at this Vista Point. Very, very pretty. But here's the road going down. We've got another 15 miles of downhill before we hit the valley. La Quinta, I believe, is just on the other side of this mountain range here. So we think we're in Palm Desert, which is still in California, and we're leaving Miley, that's the new name, Miley, and we're headed to a trail up that way in the mountains, and it's called the Bump and Grind Trail. We couldn't find parking any closer, so we had to park in a mall parking lot. Okay, let's go do it. The Bump and Grind Trail is a four mile loop trail that's considered to be moderately challenging with some pretty steep switchbacks going in the clockwise direction. Sunscreen, plenty of water and lots of energy is the order of the day for this hike. are riding the thermals right here. They come up this little tiny valley. Well, we made it to the top. There's a long old grind up. They say it's steeper going up than it is going down on the route that we took. So we are going to head down. Whoa, sorry dear. <laughs> We're just scooching around on a 360. Looking at the edge, because it's right there. And we're now overlooking one of many golf courses in the area. Must be some money in the neighborhood. We left La Quinta in California and we've just crossed over the Colorado River and we are now in Arizona. We filled up with gas. A dollar a gallon cheaper here in Arizona than it was in California. So we're headed towards Prescott and Cottonwood. We're trying to get a little bit of elevation. There's a warm front that's come in and it was pretty hot where we were for the next four days it's going to be in the high 80s low 90s so we thought if we headed north and get up into some elevation that should drop it down by five to ten degrees next couple of few days we're going to be headed towards the south rim of the Grand Canyon there you go that's 
that's what we're doing. So yesterday we were driving north on Interstate 17, I believe. We're headed towards the Grand Canyon and we were about 45 minutes from where we were going to try to boondock and we glanced over to our east and there was a bunch of campers in um, this sort of barren landscape. So we thought we'd come check it out. It is the um, Agia Fria National Monument. I probably butchered that. And there's a whole bunch of BLM land um, boondocking. So this was the site we pulled into last night. And I just scan around. It is absolutely beautiful out here. I'm going to jump on my e-bike. There are some, uh, there's a historic site down the road here with petroglyphs and um, ancient dwellings. So I thought I'd go give them a look about. Um, yeah. Come along for the ride. Well, this is pretty cool. Just me, my bike, and not much else. Very cool. That's where I'm going. Well, I gotta say, this is a little disappointing. I can see the potential here, but as another guy said, who was leaving as I was coming in, yeah, it's just a pile of rocks. I mean, clearly you can see some spaces, what potentially was rooms, but it is, for the most part, a disheveled mess. Well, we were just sitting down to eat supper and watch another episode of Survivor and we glanced out the window and this was the sunset this evening. Absolutely spectacular. We are at ancient Montezuma Well. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years a resource for local people. Water comes up through the bottom um, where it hits a basalt rock formation and forces the water up. Uh, no fish in here. Uh, lots of leeches. In fact, there's only five different types of um, organisms um, that live in here. A pretty fascinating place. I'll try to add more as we move along. On the other side of Montezuma's well, there are man-made dwellings estimated to have been in use between 1100 and 1400. So a thousand years ago. They've been restored in places but not rebuilt. We are making our way down the steps to the well and take a peek at it from there and there. Each day water enters the bottom of the pool and exits through the opening to my right. Where the well's water swells above this main opening, additional cracks in each side allow it to drain. The water moves through a 150 foot long underground passageway created by water dissolving the porous travertine. It emerges outside of the well above wet Beaver Creek. There prehistoric farmers channeled the water into a canal to irrigate crops. And this is where the overflow from the well comes out 
Right, yeah, it's about 20 feet around that corner. Okay. Where it actually comes out. And it's about a million and a half gallons of water comes out of here. Yeah, every day. Every, every day. Year. And there's man-made trenches over there that carry it out for irrigation in times yeah. gone by. Here we see from above the water flowing down in the stream, but here's also one of those channels where water's flowing right down there too. And there's some big, what were these trees, honey? Sycamores, there's some big sycamore trees around here too. Although reinforced by the park department, this was an original dwelling under the cave here, and it is still so unfortunate that people do not understand the importance of preserving these places and choose to trash them. This is the prettiest view. We are at the end of the trail, down close to the exit where the spring is at the bottom of the video here. And then up high are two of the dwellings. Very, very cool place. I'm so glad we stopped off. So we're headed to the Grand Canyon. We just skirted around the uh, western side of Flagstaff and we decided to take the scenic route instead of the interstate and we're up in the National Forest here. We're now above 8,000 feet, uh, much cooler outside, so cool there is snow and beautiful forests. Very neat. out of the woods onto this plateau. Nice big flatlands area, we're in snow on the mountains, very cool. If you like what you have seen here today, stick around with Soulmate Snowbirds as we make our way to and explore the mother of all big holes in the ground, the Grand Canyon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please.